You are looking live at the skyline of Tuscaloosa as we continue to keep a close eye on potential storms developing across the viewing area coming from the west. Chief Meteorologist Mark Predator joins us now with the very latest. Where's that thing headed? Well, it's headed our direction. Right now it's all out across uh, the lower Mississippi Valley back into uh, Texarkana and regions like that. But it's still a very dangerous uh, setup that we have for tomorrow. We just want folks to be aware, not get worried about it, but just have a plan and know what to do. Now, as we go through the next 24 hours, we're going to see an active weather setup. No reason to uh, get overly excited about it, but it is something we're going to have to make sure everybody is aware of. This area of moderate risk is now shifting towards Alabama for our day tomorrow. That means we could see tornadoes, actually a few larger ones, larger hail, as well as very gusty winds. This is one graphic that I haven't shown before, and I can tell you this is a real significant, at uh, least graphic, that gives us an idea of how bad tomorrow could be. You can see all of the area highlighted in orange. That is a 70 to 90 percent chance of significant tornadoes. We're not talking just tornadoes, but larger ones that could stay on the ground for longer periods of time and can be more dangerous. We have been fully staffed throughout the course of the day. We've been monitoring how this is going to unfold. And joining me, we also have Kaylee Dion, as well as uh, Ted McInerney and David Neal, who is live out in the field. This is a very active day in the making. This is going to become an afternoon that is uh, not only very dangerous, but also some of the storms could be violent. We're now looking at the thunderstorms becoming supercellular all across northern and southern Mississippi. And those will continue to move in our direction. So we have a long afternoon ahead. So joining me, we have Kaylee Dion, who is live in the Weather Center. And Kaylee, uh, we're now looking at what the National Weather Service has seen, just what we are. It's about to crank up. Yeah, Mark, we're actually now going to be starting round two of these strong storms and watching a storm over Walker County. That is where we're watching a storm that has just just fired up real quick and that's what's going to happen with these storms is they're going to start and they're going to move through very quickly and just fire up and we're going to get going for the rest of the evening. We're talking supercell thunderstorms and supercell thunderstorms you can see tornado long lasting very strong tornadoes out of these. Also joining us we have Ted McInerney. Ted uh, we are watching these storms so very carefully because once they go and they become tornadic, it's going to be a long afternoon. You, you, we've been talking about it all day, and uh, we've been seeing the conditions out there, and we feared sunshine. And you don't usually fear sunshine, because that actually helps heat up the atmosphere and get it really unstable. And that's when that's that powder keg. And again, like you said, once it goes, it goes. A little tiny speck on the radar can end up being a supercellular thunderstorm. And the supercellular thunderstorm is one that will produce a tornado. We have Mike McClanahan, our reporter here from CBS 42. Uh, Mike, uh, what can you tell us? You're in Hansville right now? That's right, Mark. I'm in Hansville right now. Uh, there's still a number of down power lines, uh, thousands of people without power here in Coleman County. A lot of trees down, some blocking area roads. I'm near County Road 91. I am concerned about the fact that that is a tornado. You don't get it much more painted in a picture than that right there on a radar. That is our tornado right there. I mean, that's it. That's as good as it gets. So you know where it is now. It's uh, just to the south and east of Arley. This is tracking towards the north northeast at 50 miles per hour. And that uh, that right there, it's almost like it's not real. That to me, just you just don't get radar images that clear very often. Uh, Mark, we're getting reports in from the National Weather Service that there has been structural damage reported out of the cell that's moving through Coleman back okay. in Walker County near Crane Hill. So okay. we are getting damage reports. So if you're in Coleman County and you're going to be hit by the storm, make sure you're taking shelter immediately. All right, here's what we're going to do with these storms today. Every one of these is considered on the ground now. That we've gotten to that point with these. So when we do call out for a tornado warning, think of it as on the ground, not just radar indicated, not something that's a low hanging cloud. Consider it on the ground. That's likely what we're going to be dealing with all throughout the course of the day today. Uh, hunker down. You're going to get through this. Hunker down, protect yourself. Wrap up in blankets, pillows, and a helmet if you can. Don't go and looking for this because this storm is moving fast at 55 miles an hour. You don't have much time. Don't worry about your belongings. Property is not important right now. Get yourself safe. Get your family safe. This is just south of 18. 
just to the east of 43 right now, and it is moving very quickly. Oakman, also, please get to your safe place as there is going to be a tornado, the confirmed tornado, bearing down on you very shortly. So, Barry, also Oakman, we're getting a, reports of a very strong tornado. Also, Parrish, you're in the line of the storm, and then eventually. Cordova. So we're looking far out, give you guys a little bit of time. And if you're in the line of these storms, just like Ted just said, please get to your safe place. You've got a visual on the tornado, that's right? Oh, absolutely, Mark. Uh, okay. Now, let me tell you what's just happened. I I'm watching it here, and I got a pretty good vantage point. Uh, it's lifted a little bit. How large? It's about a quarter of a mile wide here. Tremendous lightning again, and the inflows coming in. Okay. Uh, it's a classic tornado, Mark, and it's uh, if you are anywhere around this thing at the moment, you've got to get to a place of safety immediately right here on Highway 78. Now there's yeah. some very large hail beginning to fall. There's, there's the hail. How, what size are we looking at on this, David? Here we go. We got it up here. All right. uh -oh. All right. We got your shot. A there's a tornado. tornado. Live it's tornado. Large. Large. All right. the Pop that up real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and it's on the uh, Skype computer. You Look at that. Good. That is a big tornado. All right, David. Yeah, you're, it is. Yeah, all right, you're moving. Um, if you'll lock down on that uh, tornado, there it is. Folks, that is, a, uh, that is a violent tornado. That is a large tornado, and it is now headed towards Cordova. David, you're in a spot that's safe. I'm, I have faith that you, uh, you're in the right spot, but that is a very large tornado, and this is classic looking uh, right on the southwest flank. Okay, there it is. It's on the ground That's now. a tornado on the ground. It's on the ground. You can see the rotation. Okay, Tuscaloosa, this is becoming a large tornado. It is on the ground. It is now moving very quickly towards the north and east. You are watching live footage of this tornado on the ground headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. This is a tornado emergency. Take cover immediately. This tornado will be arriving in the city of Tuscaloosa within the next minute or two. It's going through stages. You can see it's starting to wrap up and then it starts to fall apart at times. Don't be misled by that. These things can really start to ramp up. As a matter of fact, look at that. That's another little vortice trying to start there. This is the parent tornado. Look at that tornado. Look at the velocity. You that, can see the debris. Okay, this is our debris field. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to step over to this side. Look at this tornado. Live right now, this is what's happening. It is headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. Again, I can't emphasize enough from Skyland Boulevard northward, this is going to be a violent tornado. We're talking very dangerous, very high winds, structural damage that could be extensive. This could cause not only the damage for structure, but a loss of life. That's why I want you in a safe spot right now. Folks, you don't, you're watching the tornado live on TV right now on CBS 42 that is headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. This is looking right into it. This is not a rain wrap tornado. This is a rare supercellular mesocyclone. Wow. This is a tornado that is going to be doing a lot of damage. Look at the debris right here. See that wrapping back around? That is what's getting churned up by this tornado. My gosh, look at the size of this tornado. This is a massive, massive tornado, folks. Please take cover immediately. Here is Skyland Boulevard, right there. Here is the tornado. It's now about to move across the airport. Uh, it's just moved through Foster's. Uh, let's just, uh, let's go ahead and go through some of the communities. I'm gonna get as detailed as possible. Eventually, it will be crossing over uh, US Highway. Um, uh, actually, it's moving up 11 right now. Okay. Go in closer for me, all right? We're gonna, get, okay. we're gonna get right down on this. Okay, let's go back to, oh my God, look at that. Wow, um, that's oh my city. God. Take cover Take immediately. Take cover immediately. This yes. Is very Ladies and gentlemen, this is a large tornado on the ground. Please There's take debris. cover immediately. Large debris. This is a very violent tornado. We lost the shot again. It's going to come back. We, we will get it back. This is, um, this is a very, very dangerous situation. Take, take our warning right now. It is now churning through southern the city of Tuscaloosa. My God, look at that. That thing is huge. We got power flashes going on with it as well. This is, folks, this is a, a violent tornado. This is really violent. Okay, look at that. There is the tornado. Uh, it's now moving right up I-20. Uh, this is uh, Skyland Boulevard. That's, you just don't, you see something like this out on the Great Plains, the Central Plains. This so, is live. This yeah, is so, all right, hang on with that shot, Lee. My God, look at that thing, it's huge. That is a uh, big tornado that is headed towards the city of Tuscaloosa. You got warning, if you are in the city northward, the university, 
hang in there, we're gonna get through this. I promise you, we're gonna get you through it. It's just gotta pass. We have large debris now flying up off the backside of this tornado. If you're in a safe place, you're gonna be okay. We're gonna get you through this, keep us turned up. This is a massive, violent tornado. My gosh, look at the debris. The debris field is absolutely huge and it continues to strengthen. This tornado is a wedge tornado, multiple vortices on this thing. This is as violent as it gets when it comes to a tornado. I've, I've never in, in my entire career or lifetime thought I would be standing in front of a live picture of a tornado in Alabama, but that is a violent tornado that just passed through the city of Tuscaloosa. Our newsroom, we gotta get folks right now, we gotta get information what's going on there. I know it's probably yeah, chaotic and um, Let's, all right, we're gonna get in touch with the EMA. We gotta find out what's going on with that. Uh, for those, uh, I know that this, the university is always, always good about getting the students in a place of safety. That's very important. And I, for I know, I've, I, hey, listen, I'm getting emails from a lot of you parents out there who have students that you live in different parts of the state, or not only the state, but also the country, that you watch our live feed. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it did uh, go through a, a section that uh, we didn't want it to, but the University of Alabama goes above and beyond to make sure every one of those students is in a safe place. You can, I can guarantee you that. We told them ahead of time to be sure to do that, and it is now out of the city. Man, I'm telling you, uh, we just watched history right there, and uh, I, I can tell you that right there is a massive wedge tornado. What can you tell us? Uh, guys, it was absolutely terrifying. Um, just a huge tornado tearing through the city. Um, kind of hard to tell exactly what kind of path it took. It looked like it hovered over uh, Bright Denton Stadium for a while there. You can clearly see that there was tons of debris uh, just floating up into the air, and, and it's, it's kind of vanishing from our viewpoint now. I, I don't know if the tornado is still on the ground, but definitely a scary couple of minutes there. All right, here we go. We got this one here. This is the one we just had, that live tornado from Tuscaloosa. It's still on the ground, moving along I-20 to the northeast there. We also have this one up in Marion County. And this storm just to the south and east of Walker County, and now this one in Coleman County. So we have several storms that have tornadoes on the ground, and uh, th these tornado warnings are all over the place. And for those of you in Hueytown, I'm going to tell you like we did uh, Tuscaloosa and everybody else. We're going to get you through this. We're going to get you in a safe spot. We're going to get you on the lowest floor away from doors and windows. We're going to put helmets on. We're going to put mattresses on our head. We're going to get in the bathtub if we have to. I don't care how silly it may look. Let's do it. Let's go back do to it now. For a bit. Dave, oh, Dave, you there? Fuck. Yeah. yeah listen, go. Listen, I, this, it is a large tornado. I'm looking straight at it right now. You can see it. Yep. I, I am. Uh, the winds ahead of me, and I'm recording. That's all I can do. They're uh, they're blowing. They got to be going 80, 100 miles an hour. This thing is passing just north of Fairfield, and uh, just unbelievable stuff falling from the sky right now. The well, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking at it right now. Is it gonna? Is it you? Your trajectory has it going right up I-20. Man, Mark. Uh, Man, I don't know what to tell you other than that I'm pretty much in it. Mark, uh, University Terrence. Mall clipped by this tornado from the emergency management in Jefferson County. Spotters report EF4, EF5 damage to the yeah. area. I, I knew this was going to be a, a violent EF5, and that's what it's turning out to be, and it looks like it is ramping up. I can't really describe to you what the damage is like here uh, where I'm at, and uh, there's, there's really nothing, not a whole lot left. The tree, uh, every tree is pretty much broken off or gone. There are probably 50, 60 people who are running around here in the area looking for people, but there are so many power lines down. Um, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to stop here. I've got to get out and try to help some of these okay. people. I understand. Um, uh, I mean, be careful of the lines. Uh, that's, that's one thing that uh, I know that I've always. I've always tried to get across to everybody, and you know this, but be careful of those lines. But yeah, help those folks. Uh, yeah, David, if what we do could you talk to us? David, David, what do we got with you? Um, let me, uh, first of all, uh, I don't know if this is as bad as it gets, so uh, I, it's all I know about. But as soon as I came out of where I was when I was talking to you guys earlier, I came to Hibernian Avenue, I believe it is, mm -hmm. right here in front of the Hibernian Library. 
and uh, it's this is definitely F5 damage. Uh, there are cars that are completely strewn all over the place. There are at least, in my eyesight, 30, 40 houses, homes that are completely destroyed. There are several. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I saw. There are three people on the ground here who are right now, they've got emergency management people who are taking care of them. So uh, I can only imagine that it's, you know, even worse the further away you go. But right here at Hibernian, which uh, is just east of Pratt, it's, it's devastating. I mean, it's, uh, it's completely and absolutely devastating. Okay, here we go. We got it full screen. All right. This is uh, Al's video. This is, okay, this is in Summerton Apparently where that tornado there, there went through. Be, uh, a couple of fatalities. That is what Al is saying right now. It's not confirmed. Okay. And this is in Summerton? Yes, that's uh, up wow. there um, right where um, the storm passed through. This is live. I don't know how to explain this, but oh, wow. this is um, this was from somebody's home, and uh, that landed in our parking lot. So uh, we had debris from a very large tornado that uh, came through. Please take this very seriously. Please take it very seriously. Um, that that tornado is still right now uh, moving through um, St. Clair County, and it is a massive wedge tornado. Let's go to Cynthia Gould. She's live. She's in Pratt City right now on the phone. Cynthia, it, it, I, I've seen pictures that absolutely are it, it is absolutely shocking out here, Mark. There are hundreds of people literally walking up and down these streets with no place to go. The apartment complexes are shattered. A Southampton complex, Smithfield Estate. We have several injuries out here. I'm sure you can probably hear the ambulance in the background. Mayor William Bell is here right now. They're holding an impromptu prayer, um, hoping that they can find any survivors out here. We've seen dozens of people in makeshift triages being treated. All sorts of injuries we've seen here. I'm sorry, this is just a little shocking. Um, I've never seen anything like this. Guys, watching this storm was absolutely terrifying. We were perched at a safe distance where we could view it from above uh, Skyland Boulevard in 82, and we saw it just hungrily attacking downtown Tuscaloosa. Now, when we actually got closer to where the damage happened, that was when it really got shocking. Uh, I, I'm not exaggerating when I say it looked as though it was the apocalypse. We were seeing just hundreds of people walking the streets, walking down a completely unrecognizable 15th Street. Uh, the buildings, the restaurants, the the homes that were on 15th Street, no longer recognizable. People just in shock, searching for family members, searching for pets, trying to call loved ones. Uh, really, really something devastating to see out there. Tonight, devastation and despair are sweeping Pratt City. Many here saying they have never seen anything like this. Thank God. We, he said he spared our life. <laughs> Thank him for getting us out of the apartment. This is whole neighborhood is just erupted. Mayor William Bell and a host of city crews surveyed the area. Police going door to door looking for the injured. It's almost overwhelming. Uh, you know, we don't know how many people are injured or the number of fatalities, but it's extensive and it's wide. And, uh, you know, the only thing that we can do is organize ourselves and do the work that our people have been trained on to make sure we deliver the services to the citizen. These pictures coming from Hibernian Street and Dugan Avenue. The mayor says he will call on the governor to send in state help. Those with no place to go tonight were sent to Boutwell Auditorium for shelter. In the face of such devastation, a prayer offered hope. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. My Father God, the devil think he won, Lord God. But we're not here to praise him, Lord God. We're here to praise you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. The most important thing, emergency crews are asking the public to stay out of this area. They have way too many sightseers out here tonight and still a lot of victims here they have to transport to area hospitals. In Pratt City, Cynthia Gould, CBS 42 News. Uh, you just won't see a tornado like that in the state of Alabama but maybe once every 10 years or possibly longer. No classes at the university tomorrow. And you can go to CBS42.com. You can see all the pictures, the damage, the video. It's all there. Let's pray for our neighbors.
Let's get, we're, let's get them back on their feet again. We're going to do it.